Hey, Angie. Hi, Carmen. Hey, you two. Hi. Thanks for joining us uh, for a vinyasa flow. Mm -hmm. um, if you can, we would love for you to give a thumbs up, subscribe, leave any questions um, or feedback in the comment section, and we'll definitely get back to you. Looking forward to practicing with you. Thanks. Tips out nice and wide. Maybe your forehead rests on your mat. Allow your eyes to close and just allowing yourself to be soft here. And gently trying to sink your heels toward, sink your hips towards your heels. Take a full breath in. Open your mouth, gently let it go. <sighs> Take another cleansing breath in. Fill your belly, fill your lungs. <sighs> Open your mouth and let it go. <sighs> and from here, start to cultivate. Whatever breath you need for your practice. And bringing your awareness to what your inhales feel like, they sound like, where that new energy is traveling to. And your exhales, letting that be a way of a release to get a little bit deeper into certain areas of the body. And as you inhale slowly, start to take both of your hands over towards the left side of your mat. And being mindful to sink that right hip back to allow that right side body to open up a little bit here. And slowly as you inhale, bring your hands back through the center. And as you exhale, walking both hands over towards the right. Really grounding down through that left hip to allow your left side body to get a nice, good morning stretch. As you inhale slowly, bring the hands back to center, shifting into puppy pose. So you're just gonna send your hips up as your arms keep extending forward, maybe your chest comes to the earth, maybe your chin, maybe your forehead. slowly start to shift all the way forward you're just going to come to your belly so gently lower all the way down bringing your hands on the outside of your mat think about sending your elbows towards the sky and you're on your fingertips pressing the shoelace part of your feet into the earth as you inhale roll your chest up as you exhale drop the right shoulder down your gaze goes over the left 
As you inhale, come through to center. As you exhale, left shoulder dips down. Your gaze goes to the right. Inhale, rise up through center. Exhale, drop the right shoulder down. Gaze goes to the left. Inhale, come through center. As you exhale, left shoulder drops down. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up. As you exhale, gently lower all the way down. Right away, extending your right hand out towards the right. Palm faces the earth. Bringing your left hand in towards your mid, your ribs on the left side. Bend into your left knee. As you inhale, start to press into your left hand, taking that left foot behind the right. Relaxing your head on your mat. And know that your left hand can stay exactly where it is for a little extra support. You can take your left hand into the small of your back, or if you have that bind, you can always connect your hands together here. You just find a space where you're not clenching the jaw, where you're not holding the breath. A space where you can still find ease. slowly start to come back to your belly keeping that right arm extended just take a moment to pause here feel any new sensations maybe feel that new space that you just created and then slowly start to extend the left arm all the way out towards the left bringing your right hand in towards your right ribs bending your right knee and then gently pressing into your right hand to find this pose on this side. And of course, if you have that spine flexibility, that right foot stays bent behind your left. Right hand can go into the small of your back. You can bind your hands. Just find a place that serves your body. As you exhale, slowly bring your right hand down to the mat. Slowly begin to unwind the body, belly back to the earth. Keeping that left arm extended and just take a moment to feel how this side feels. And slowly bringing that left hand in towards the ribs. Think about both hands being right towards your rib cage, rolling your shoulders back, elbows go towards the ceiling. Tucking both toes, lifting the knees so the quads fire up. And as you inhale, press into your arms for high plank. Fingers are spread out nice and wide, scoop of the tailbone. Shoulders are slightly over the wrists. Take one more breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few moments here to pedal the heels, to sway the hips, just making any little organic movements that your body might need this morning. Inhale, take your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog, actively flexing your right toes towards the earth. As you exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips, score, be in tell. Taking your knee towards the ceiling, your heel towards your sits bones. And invite any little movements that you need here. Maybe that's circling the knee out, maybe that's straightening that right leg. Inhale, bring that right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round through the spine. Inhale, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, knee to nose. This time, step that foot gently in between your hands. Find that runner's lunge. So your right knee and ankle are in line with one another. And come to the tips of your fingers so it gives you a little more elevation. Think about rolling the shoulders back. Gently lower the left knee and tuck the left toes. Take a breath in. As you exhale, half-seated split. Shift the hips back to lengthen through that right leg. Flexing your right toes towards the sky. And as you inhale, slowly roll back into that runner's lunge. And think about drawing the chest forward so you really feel your hips sink low. Exhale, half-seated split. Shift the hips back. Inhale, roll through that runner's lunge. Think about lifting through the chest. Your gaze goes up. Exhale, half-seated split. Last one. Inhale, roll through that runner's lunge. Gaze goes up. And then plant your hands. Tuck your left toe. Lift your left knee up. Inhale, right leg goes high to the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches towards the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips, scorpion tail. And here invite any little movements that maybe you did on that first side that might feel good on this side as well. And then inhale, take that left leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Try to make that connection. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Gently step it in between your hands. Come to your fingertips. Find that runner's lunge. Left knee and ankle are in line with one another. Gently lower the right knee down and tuck the right toes. Take the hips all the way back. Half seated splits. As you inhale, roll into that kneeling crescent. Think about lifting through the chest, letting your hips sink low. Exhale, take it all the way back. Half seated splits. One more of those. Inhale, roll through. Reach the chest up so that front line on the right side opens up. Exhale, half seated splits. Inhale, shift back into that runner's lunge. This time, plant your hands. Tuck your right toes, lift that right knee. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg reaches to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. As you exhale, start to walk your hands all the way towards the back of your mat. Inhale, hands come to shins, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly Rise all the way up. Think about your upper body staying heavy. Letting the legs turn on. As you inhale, reaching your hands all the way towards the sky. As you exhale, hands come back behind you. Interlace your fingers at the base of your spine. As you inhale, draw the fist down and start to reach the fist away from your spine. Feel the arms working. Roll the shoulders back. Take a breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, forward fold, bringing that fist up and over your head. And here, maybe it feels good to sway a little from side to side, to sway forward and back. As you exhale, gently release the hands. Bring the right hand directly in front of your face so it's in between your feet. As you inhale, start to peel the left arm up and start to bend into your right knee. Think about keeping your spine nice and long. Exhale, left hand comes down right in front of your face. Inhale, bend into the left knee, reach your right arm towards the sky. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Start to walk your hands all the way back to that high plank. Fingers spread nice and wide. Let your fingertips press into the earth. As you inhale, start to hover that right leg off of your mat. Feel that left leg turn on. Take a breath in. 
As you exhale, shift forward, come down halfway, chaturanga, elbows, raise your midsection. Inhale, press back up, high plank. Lower that left foot down and breathe. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Inhale, start to hover the left leg up. Now let that right leg really turn on. Take a full breath in. Exhale, shift forward, come down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, press yourself back up. Lower the left foot down, full breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your gaze goes to the top of your mat. As you exhale, come to your toes, bend your knees, and travel. Inhale, nice long spine, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach, rise all the way up. Gaze up, maybe go for that back bend. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen through your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to your high plank. We're going to go from high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your gaze goes to the top of your mat. As you exhale, come to your toes. Bend your knees. Travel. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach, rise all the way up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back or float back. Go from high to low. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Right away, inhale, your gaze goes to the top of your mat. As you exhale, travel. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach, rise all the way up. As you exhale, hinge and fold, let it go. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back or float back. Go from high to low. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Coming back to your breath. Full inhales in. Full exhales out. Inhale, take your right leg high to the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Step the foot in between your hands. Spiral your left heel in and down. Inhale, rise up. Warrior two pose. So here, your back foot is almost parallel to the back of your mat. You're bending as deeply as you can into that right knee. Draw that right knee up. Side scoop of the tailbone. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through that right leg. Take your right arm all the way back. Exhale, extended side angle. Your right forearm can come down to your right thigh. Extend your left arm towards the sky. So think of scooping the tailbone and you're keeping the spine long. Then take your left hand and go for that half bind. So you're trying to take your left hand into the small of your back on the right side. Roll that shoulder back. Legs are working here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands to prayer heart center. Find Skandasana at the back of your mat. Bending deeply into your left knee. Sitting that right leg out nice and long. Taking your left hand, maybe it goes outside of your left foot. Extending your right arm towards the sky. Take a breath in. Exhale, runners lunge to the top of your mat. Inhale, three-legged dog. Take your right leg high to the sky. As you exhale, you're going to shift forward. Find that low chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes to the sky. Three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Step the foot in between your hands. Spiral that left heel in and down. Inhale, warrior two, rise up. Same thing here. Let that bend in your left knee be nice and deep. Draw that knee away from your body. Arms extend out as if they were capital T. Feel the work that happens in this stillness. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten through the left leg, send the left arm up and back. As you exhale, extended side angle, your left forearm can come down to your 
left thigh. Extend your right hand towards the sky. Then scoop the tailbone. Roll your right ribs towards the sky. Then start to take your right hand into the small of your back to feel the shoulders start to spiral open. And slowly you're going to release that bind. Bring your hands to prayer heart center as you slowly make your way to Skandasana at the back of your mat. So you're bending into your right knee to extend that left leg out long, flexing your toes. Right hand maybe goes on the outside of your right foot, extending your left hand towards the sky. And then exhale, maybe no hands, runners lunge to the top of your mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg goes to the sky. As you exhale, you're going to shift forward, find that chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. Ah. Inhale, left leg goes to the, right leg goes to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips, scorpion tail. If you would like to flip your dog this morning, going slow with control, taking your right foot on the outside of your left leg, sending your hips up, reaching your right arm all the way forward. If you have flipped your dog, right hand comes back down to the earth. Everyone inhale, right leg goes to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, rise up high, crescent warrior. Press into your right foot to reach your hands towards the sky. Square your hips, scoop the tailbone under. You can always keep a minor bend into that right left knee to keep the hips square. Take a breath in. Exhale, wide pyramid. Hands come down to your mat. Shift your hips back. Maybe you come to the heel of your right foot, flexing your toes. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, bend into your right toes. Inhale, using the core, take your left leg all the way towards the sky, standing splits. Maybe your nose comes to try to give your knee a sweet little ne nose nuzzle. Nose nuzzle, I'm just making up words on this beautiful day. Actively flexing your left toes towards the earth. Can you send that left leg up a little bit higher? As you exhale, bring your left knee to your nose. Inhale, slowly standing leg raise. Bring that left knee into your chest. Hands come to the sky. Find the foundation in that right leg. Take your right hand to your right hip. Take your peace fingers with your left toe. Maybe you grab your big toe if you're not quite there yet. You can always grab back behind your knee. And everyone start to extend that leg out. Think about keeping the spine long. Activating that left leg, take a breath in. As you exhale, start to open that left leg out towards the left. Slight external rotation of that left thigh. Maybe your gaze goes towards the right. And breathe. Inhale, slowly come back through to center. As you exhale, release the toe. Bring your hands to prayer heart center. As you exhale, warrior three pose. Slow with control. Take that left leg all the way back. Flex your toes towards the earth. Try to lift that heel up a little bit higher. Exhale, hands come down. Find that runner's lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right leg goes to the sky. As you exhale, shift through that high plank. Find that low plank. Inhale, roll your chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips, scorpion tail. You can stay here. If you would like to flip your dog, slow with control. Left foot goes on the outside of your right leg, sending your hips up, extending that left arm all the way forward. Exhale, left hand comes down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Inhale, rise all the way up high. Crescent warrior. Left knee and ankle are in line, scooping the tailbone under. Draw the pivot, pivot bone toward the lower ribs. So you're drawing the navel towards the spine. Take a breath in. Exhale, wide pyramid. Hands come down. Sort of shift that left hip back. 
Maybe you come to the heel, maybe you flex your toes towards your face. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold into this. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, bend into your left foot. Start to use the core standing split. Send that right leg all the way towards the sky. Maybe you give your knee a little kiss. Because that's, yay, self-love. I love it. Drawing your upper body as close to that standing leg as you can. As you reach that right leg even higher. As you exhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Inhale, stand all the way up. Standing leg. Raise hands come to the sky. Find the balance here. That left leg may be shaky a little bit, and that's okay. Maybe you fall out of it, and that's okay, too. Left hand comes to grab your left hip. Peace fingers, grab that big right toe, or you can always grab back behind your knee. Start to extend that leg out nice and long. Your spine stays tall. Take a breath in. As you exhale, start to open that right leg out towards the right. Sometimes balancing is easy, and sometimes it's just not. Be okay exactly where you are. As you inhale, slowly come back to center. Release the toe. Bring your knee back into your chest. Hands come to prayer heart center. As you exhale, warrior three pose. Take that right leg all the way back. Think about keeping your spine long. Can you lift that heel higher? Exhale, hands come down gently. Gently glide your right toes back, runners lunge. Inhale, three legged dog, left leg goes to the sky. As you exhale, think about shifting forward and find that low plank. Inhale, roll your chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. Mm -hmm. ay, ay. Inhale, take your right leg high to the sky, three legged dog. As you exhale, knee comes to your nose, step it through. Warrior two pose, come on up. And settle in here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, can you get a little bit deeper here? Inhale, flip your palm, reach, reverse your warrior. Keep bending into that right knee. As you exhale, extended side angle. Maybe that right hand comes down to the earth, taking your left hand towards the sky. This time as you exhale, take that half bind. Maybe you take your right hand underneath your right thigh. Maybe your hands connect here. Then they about rolling the chest open. If you have the full body, as you inhale, you're going to step your left arch of your foot to your right heel. As you inhale, using the core, you're going to stand all the way up. Think about standing up nice and tall. Maybe you extend that right leg. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, slowly come out of this, keeping the bind. Step the left foot to the back of your mat. As you inhale, you're going to find triangle pose. So release the bind, right hand down, extend your left hand towards the sky. Think about keeping the side bodies nice and long. Take a breath in. Exhale, wide pyramid. Square your hips back towards the earth. Come to the ball of that left foot, maybe the heel of your right. Take a breath in. Stay for that exhale. Inhale, slowly shift into your, bend your right knee, find runner's lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg goes to the sky. As you exhale, you're going to shift into your high plank, find that chaturanga. Inhale, roll your chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, warrior two pose, come on up. And allowing yourself time here to settle, to make any minor adjustments that you need. Inhale, flip your palm, reach forward, reverse your warrior. Keep bending deeply into that left knee. As you exhale, extended side angle, left hand comes down maybe to the earth, reaching your right hand towards the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to take your right hand into the small of your back. Maybe that left arm goes underneath your left thigh. Maybe you find a connection with your fingers. Think about rolling the chest through spine as long. As you inhale, step your left, right arch of your foot to your left heel. As you inhale, 
slowly start to rise all the way up. Using the core, activating that leg. Maybe point the leg, take a breath in. Exhale, slowly bring that left foot back down. You're gonna find that extended side angle. Try to hold on to that bind and then gently release the bind. Triangle pose, left arm reaches down. Extending your right hand towards the sky. Think about keeping both side bodies long. Exhale, wide pyramid. Hands come down, come to the ball of your right foot, heel of your left, and melt over that left leg. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, bend into your left knee, plant your hands, find that runner's lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg goes to the sky. Exhale, shift forward in that high plank, come into that chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. Inhale, your gaze goes to the top of your mat. As you exhale, bend your knees and travel. Inhale, nice long spine, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach, rise all the way up. Hands connect at the top. As you exhale, right hand, left wrist, take it up and over towards the right. Inhale, come back through the center. Exhale, left hand, right wrist, take it up and over towards the left. Inhale, find center. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back or float back, go from high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, take your right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hip. If you would like to flip your dog again on this round, feel free to take it there. If you have flipped your dog slow with control, flipping that dog back over, everyone inhale, right leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, high crescent warrior, rise up. Squaring the hips, swooping the tailbone under, take a breath in. Exhale, warrior two, oh, big enough. Inhale, reverse warrior. Take that right arm up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Maybe that right hand comes down to your Send your left hand towards the sky. As you exhale, take that left arm back behind you. Think about rotating your ribs towards the sky. Maybe you go for that bind again, taking your right hand underneath your right hamstring. Maybe you find your fingertips. And if you don't, that's okay too. You can always use your shirt or a towel. As you inhale, step the left arch of your foot to your right heel. As you inhale, using the core, you're going to stand all the way up. Think about keeping the spine long, keeping that right leg active. Maybe you extend it long, maybe you keep it bent. Take a breath in. Exhale, slowly bring that right foot back down to the earth. Step your left foot back. Release the bind and come into triangle. So that back foot might have to shift a little bit. As you inhale, send your left hand towards the sky. Full breath in. Exhale, find that wide pyramid. Hands come down to the mat. Shift your hips back, come to the heel of that right foot. And slowly inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, find that runner's lunge, plant your hands. Inhale, three like a dog, right leg to the sky. Slowly shift into that high plank, go from high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes to the sky, three like a dog. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips, score up the intel. Feel free to stay here or flip your dog. If you have flipped your dog slow, with control flipping that dog back over. Everyone inhale, left leg goes to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, high crescent warrior. Rise up. Exhale, warrior two pose, oh, open it up. Inhale, reverse warrior, take that left arm up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. 
Maybe that left hand comes to the inside of your left foot, reaching your right arm towards the sky. As you exhale, take that right arm, wrap it around, taking your left arm underneath your thigh. Maybe you grab a hold of your fingertips. Think about rotating your chest towards your ceiling. As you inhale, step your left arch of your foot to your, step your right arch of your foot to your left heel. As you inhale, using the core, start to stand all the way up. Activate that left leg. Maybe you straighten it, maybe you don't. Can you roll those shoulder blades back? Take a breath in, exhale, slowly lower back down. Gently step your right foot to the back of your mat, releasing the bind. Inhale, trigonasana, triangle pose. Left arm down, right hand reaches towards the sky. Exhale, right hand comes down to the earth, wide pyramid. Come to the heel of your left foot, maybe flex those left toes towards your face. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, bend into your left knee, find that runner's lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg goes to the sky. Start to shift into that high plank. Go from high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. Mm -hmm. Inhale, your right leg goes to the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, this time step your right foot on the outside of your right hand, coming into lizard lunge. So from here, gently lower your left knee down, untuck your left toes, and feel free to make any little movements that you need. Feel where your body needs this stretch the most. Maybe you come onto your forearms, maybe you roll to the outer blade of your right foot, maybe your right hand goes to your inner right thigh. Just find where you need to be and then allow yourself to settle in. Allow yourself to find some stillness. If your breath has gotten shallow or faded away, coming back to those full inhales in and those full exhales out. From here, taking a full breath in, opening your mouth and gently letting it go. One by one of you, come onto your forearms, start to make your way, your hands back to your mat, finding that long spine, tucking your left toes, spiraling that heel in and down, and you're going to walk to the middle of your mat for wide leg forward fold. So big toes slightly in, heels slightly out, and do whatever you need right here. If that looks like an inversion, get inverted. If that looks like bending into your knees to release any tightness or tension in those hamstrings. Hmm. And slowly bring your hands directly beneath your shoulders. Inhale, nice long spine. As you exhale, we're just going to find lizard to the back of our mat. So both of your hands come to the inside of your left foot. And walk that foot out a little bit. You can lower down to that right knee. And here, allow yourself the same movements here just to find where you need to be, where you need to be in this stretch to feel what you need to feel. Maybe that looks like coming down to your forearms, going to the outer blade of that left foot. Mm 
and allow yourself to settle into a place where you can be still and you can soften around all of the parts that are working. Taking a breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. And slowly, if you come onto your floor, you start to make your way back to your hands. Tucking your right toes, lifting that right knee, spiraling that heel in and down, and just letting that wide leg straddle one more time. And maybe you do the same thing you did in the first one. Maybe you take it somewhere else. slowly bring your hands underneath the shoulders halfway lift long spine as you exhale find that lizard back to the top of your mat so both hands are on the inside of your right foot it's a big step forward as you inhale lift the hips left foot comes on the outside of your left hand and then squat it down from the last in the squat maybe your hands come to prayer heart center toes can be slightly out heels can be in scoop the towel under Maybe you sway a little from side to side. And then slowly extend your arms all the way out forward. And you're just going to sit all the way down and then bring your legs up towards the sky for Navasana. High vault. Think about rolling the shoulders back. Sitting up nice and tall, take a breath in. Exhale, low boat. So you're hovering your heels and your shoulders up. Let the low belly fire up. Inhale, high boat. Next breath out, slowly find that low boat. One last one. Inhale, find that high boat. Maybe this time you straighten your legs. Can you sit up a little bit taller? And then exhale, slowly keeping up. Bring your knees into your chest. You're just going to slowly lay all the way down. Knees are in the chest. Maybe you sway a little from side to side. Releasing your left leg. Let it come all the way down to the earth. And then giving yourself half happy baby on the right side. So you bend into your knee, grab the outer blade of your right foot. Think about drawing that right knee down. You can always take your left hand to your left hip if that feels good. But feel free to move that leg around a little. Shoulders are connected to the earth. And from here, we're going to find the supine twist. So with, you're going to take your right hand and then slowly just bring that right hand to your knee and start to glide that right knee all the way over your left hip. You can shimmy that right hip, left hip back a little bit, and then returning your right shoulder towards the earth. And you can always gaze to your right fingers. You can close your eyes. Slowly as you inhale, start to bring that right knee back into your chest. 
Give it a nice, sweet little squeeze. Then begin to extend that leg out nice and long. As you inhale, bring that left knee into your chest, finding half happy baby. So grabbing the outer blade of your foot. If that's too much, you can always grab your ankle or your shin. Think about drawing that knee towards your armpit. Maybe make nice little movements here. And slowly start to find that supine twist. So you can remove the foot, grab a hold of the knee, and take that left knee all the way up and over your right hip. And bringing that right left shoulder down towards the earth. As you inhale slowly, bring that left knee back into your chest. Give it a nice little squeeze. Allow your right knee to meet it, giving yourself a nice hug, grabbing a hold of your shins. And then slowly finding Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet come together as your knees open up nice and wide. And taking a moment. Maybe place a hand over your heart, a hand over your belly. And just take a moment to feel all of that magic that is within you. With the world in the state that it's in. Sometimes it can cause a lot of things to come up. But know that this time that you have to maybe not fall back into the normal routine of things. Take it a moment to cultivate and to feel and to acknowledge all of that magic that is within you. And it's within you every step of the way, whether you're home, whether you're back out in the world. And that this is your gift to the world. breath in. Open your mouth and let it go. And slowly, one by one, start to extend your legs out nice and long. Start to allow your arms to fall wherever they would like. Palms facing up is a sign of being ready to receive all of the abundance that is out there for you. Allowing yourself to melt into whatever space you are in. Feeling the earth hold you up. This is where we let everything go. And all we have to do is just be Shavasana.
Begin to bring awareness back into your breath, filling your belly, filling your lungs. Open your mouth and gently let it go. Ah. And slowly start to bring movement back into your physical body, wiggling your fingers and your toes, rolling out your wrists and your ankles until your body is finally ready for that full body stretch. Extending your arms over your head, pointing and flexing your toes, stretching as if you've just woken up. And as you exhale, one by one, start to walk your feet in towards your hips, bringing your knees into your chest, and slowly rolling over towards the right, allowing your head to rest on your bicep. As you inhale, use as little effort as possible, start to make your way to a comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, extend your arms all the way towards the sky, collecting all of that beautiful energy that you all help create. And as you exhale, bring it all down into your heart. Taking one final cleansing breath, fill your belly, Fill your lungs. Open up and let it go. <sighs> Gently bowing your chin in a sign of gratitude and respect. And from our hearts to each and every one of yours. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>